Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the Fashion Designer Mod by Danity Simmer. I hope I said her name right. <laughs> um, if you guys are wanting to get this mod, you want to make sure you first read through the description because mod creators always let you know what you need and what you can't have in your mods folder if you want this mod to work. So please make sure you do that part. Um, I do have videos going over certain stuff like how to download a venue list, how to download XML injector, things of that nature. So if you need those files or um, videos, those are on my channel. Please check those out. If you guys want a chance to win a free pack of your choosing, all you have to do is head over to the I Am Simplicity Sim YouTube channel. Once you sub there, head over to Twitch and follow me. Once you follow me, I, you will see that I go live every Tuesday and Saturday those streams you'll want to attend when you attend those streams comment so I know that you're there and then I will make sure I enter your name in the raffle I only know if you were at the stream if you comment so please do not forget that that is a very important step okay you will be able to win a free pack of your choosing if that the more streams you attend the higher chance you have at winning so just keep that in mind and if you guys have any questions on this feel free to leave it in the comment section below all right so what you're going to want to do is read as i told you guys before if you click this link right here this is the latest version and you open it into a new window it is going to show you that um you you know what your venue list is so the venue list is here so you can just go ahead and download that I'm not going to put in the base metal venue list because I already have a venue list in my game. I mean, in my mods folder. So if that's you as well, please don't feel the need to re-download it because you already have one. And do not put two venue lists in there. If you have another venue list in there that's not the base metal one, that's fine. But do not install both or it will not work. You will need the move pack mod, which is not surprising. Move pack mod is quite important when it comes to a lot of mods so we're going to go ahead and download that mood pack mod and i have that in the top right corner of the screen as well if you guys don't know how to download the mood pack mod and you want more details on that i have a video going over that as well now at this point you can exit out these files and just scroll to the bottom after reading through all of the descriptions so you also know how to use the mod you are then going to want to do what you can to download it so it tells you here again what you need it also lets you know what game packs are required if you want this game to work so if you don't have get to work pack it's not going to work if you don't have get famous it's not going to work if you don't have get together or discover university it's not going to work so keep that in mind if you guys want to win a free pack you're choosing you don't own any of these packs definitely do the steps i told you about earlier so you can have a chance at getting these packs all right now let's go ahead and click the link here it's going to download in the top right corner of the screen that is the fashion designer mod now you're going to go to the bottom guys if you have mac you are going to select finder window okay it's blue and it's white if you guys have windows you will select file explorer your icon will be yellow okay once it opens you want to go ahead and locate the downloads folder and here is where you'll see the files you downloaded so more than likely you'll see the venue list you'll see the mood pack mod you'll see the xml injector and you'll see your mod i you're not going to see the xml injector on mine because i already have it i'm not going to install the venue list because i already have it you, i'm just giving you guys a reference of what you'll need so you know how to install it all right at this point what you're going to want to do is go to the bottom of the screen and right click the file explorer icon and select new file explorer window if you guys have mac click new finder window at this point you're going to drag this in a comfortable position and locate your documents folder once you do that open up the ea folder open up the sims 4 folder and then open up the mods now what you're going to want to do is go back to that downloads folder drag that move pack mod into your mods folder if you don't have a venue list and saw it download like drag that into the mods folder as well um if you already have one installed then don't re-download it it's fine what you're going to want to do is right click the you know the file that is a zip and you want to select extract from my windows users if you guys have mac you'll right click and select open and um another thing guys if you use an extractor app on either mac or windows it doesn't matter those apps automatically open zip files so what that means is your files are already open you're just going to see pages just copy those pages and drag them into your mods folder okay 
or copy and paste them in, whichever works and whichever is easier for you, okay? Windows users, once you extract, you yours might show you what's inside, which is another folder. If yours doesn't open up like mine automatically did, you could just double click and it will show you there's a folder inside a folder. Please pay attention to the next few steps so you do not mess this up. A lot of people will just drag the whole folder in and you're not gonna wanna do that. The file that you just opened, open up a folder that has a folder inside. You wanna open up the folder inside so you can see what's inside, this is what's inside, and then you wanna click the back button. Here is where you are gonna get that Danity Simmer fashion designer mod folder that is in the folder you just opened and you're going to drag it into your mods folder once you do that you want to double click this folder and you will see the contents that are inside and if you see this that means you did it correctly if you don't see that and you see another folder you did it wrong and please rewind this video i'm seeing you guys lots of love and light a lot of people ask me can i delete um the other folders once i'm finished yes you can you've already installed the mod you don't need those folders anymore if you want to clear up some space i'm seeing you guys lots of love and light if you guys are still struggling with mods feel free to go over to the simplicitysim.com website the links are in the description below i have two ebooks readily available for you guys if you need them for assistance all right that is it i'm sending you guys lots of love and lots of light and until next time peace